Exploring the Ethical Implications of AI Hi guys welcome back to our channel. AI ethics is concerned with the responsible release and implementation of AI, taking into account a variety of factors ranging from data ethics to tool development hazards. In this video, we'll explore some of the ethical difficulties that occur with AI systems, specifically machine learning systems, when we, sometimes unknowingly, disregard the ethical implications of AI. Exploring the Ethical Implications of AI Let's talk about the five most common AI ethical concerns. 1. The transmission of prejudices such as racial, gender, and socioeconomic biases. Although it is widely assumed that algorithms are less prejudiced than people, AI systems have been shown to replicate our conscious and unconscious prejudices. As an example, there have been identified recruiting systems that learned to reject female candidates after learning that men were favored in the computer field. Even face recognition technologies are notorious for producing disproportionately large errors on minorities and individuals of color. For example, when Joy Bulamwini investigated the accuracy of face recognition systems from several firms, she discovered that the mistake rate for lighter-skinned guys was less than 1%. However, the errors were far more severe in darker-skinned females, reaching up to 35%. Even the most well-known AI systems have failed to correctly recognize female celebrities of color. So, what exactly is the root cause of AI bias? Data AI systems are only as good as the data on which they are trained. If the data is not representative, biased towards a certain group, or otherwise imbalanced, the AI system is going to acquire this non-representation and spread prejudices. A variety of variables can contribute to data bias. For example, if some groups of individuals have historically faced prejudice, this discrimination is going to be widely documented in the statistics. Another source of data bias is a company's data warehousing methods, or lack thereof, which causes AI systems to acquire knowledge from skewed samples of data rather than representative ones. Using a snapshot of the web for training models can result in you learning the biases in that snapshot. This is why huge language models are prone to bias when tested on subjective themes. Data bias can also be the outcome of a development error in which the data utilized for model development wasn't sampled appropriately, which leads to an imbalance of subgroup samples. Unintended biases are unavoidable when there is no control over the standard of data utilized for model training. We might not understand when or when particularly with unrestricted multitaskers like LLMs. 2. Unintentional plagiarism. GPT-3 and ChatGPT, for example, are generative AI tools that learn from enormous volumes of web data. These techniques increase the likelihood of creating useful material. As a result, these generative AI technologies may reproduce information on the web word for word, with no acknowledgement. How can we be sure that the created material is unique? What if the text created is identical to one found on the internet? Is it possible for the source to claim plagiarism? This problem is already visible in artwork generators which learn from an enormous amount of art pieces by various artists. The AI program may wind up creating art that blends the work of several artists. Finally, who owns the intellectual property rights to the developed art? If the work of art is too close to existing ones, copyright violation may occur. Using web and publicly accessible data to construct models may result in unintentional copying. However, because of the lack of AI regulation globally, we presently lack enforceable solutions. 3. Using a technique called deep fakes. A Ukrainian state leader was recently depicted as saying a thing they did not say. This AI program can create movies and photographs of individuals speaking things they never said. Similarly, AI image generation techniques like Dolldotty and Stable Distribution may be used to produce extraordinarily accurate portrayals of never-before-seen events. As we've seen, intelligent technologies like these may be used as weaponry in a conflict, spreading disinformation to gain an advantage in politics, manipulating public opinion, committing fraud, and more. In all of these cases, AI is not the bad guy, it is simply doing its job. Humans that abuse AI for their gain are considered evil actors. Furthermore, the firms or teams who develop and distribute these AI tools have neglected the broader implications these tools could have on society, which is a problem. While technological exploitation is not unique to AI, 
Because AI tools are so effective at imitating human skills, AI abuse may likely go unnoticed and have a long-term impact on our perception of the world. 4. Uneven Playing Conditions Algorithms are readily fooled, and the same is true with AI-powered software, where the underlying algorithms may be manipulated to acquire an unfair advantage. While requiring steps to explain an AI's employment decision-making process is a well-intended step toward increasing openness, it may allow users to cheat the system. Prospects, for example, may discover that particular keywords are favored in the recruiting process and cram their applications with them, unjustly ranking higher than more competent prospects. We see this on a far larger scale in the SEO market, which has been estimated to be valued at more than $60 billion. Getting ranked well in Google's eyes these days involves more than just having interesting material worth reading. However, this is also a result of good SEO and, as a result, the expanding popularity of this business. SEO services have allowed firms with large resources to rise through the ranks since they can invest extensively in developing vast volumes of content, doing optimization for keywords, and getting links distributed widely around the web. While some SEO methods are just content optimization, others trick search engines into thinking their websites are the finest in class, the most imposing, and would deliver the greatest value to users. This might be true or false. The top-ranked firms might have simply invested in more SEO. One of the simplest methods to acquire a disadvantage in business, profession, influence, and politics is to game AI algorithms. Those who can understand how your algorithm operates and generates decisions have the potential to misuse and trick the system. 5. Misinformation is often shared. As humans depend more and more on responses and information provided by generating AI systems, we might presume that the facts produced by these systems are the ultimate truth. Google's BARD presentation, for example, presents three points in answer to the question, what fresh findings from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about? According to one of the points, the telescope took the very first photographs of a planet beyond our solar system. However, astronomers later publicly stated that this was not the case. Using the output of such technologies directly can lead to widespread misrepresentation. Unfortunately, it is difficult to check facts and pick which replies to accept and which never to trust without adequate citation. And, as more people trust the content provided without an examination, incorrect information may spread on a far bigger level than with traditional engines of search. The same may be said about material created by generative AI systems. Human ghostwriters used to have to gather material from reliable sources, put it together in a coherent way, and reference the sources before publishing. They can now have an AI system ghostwrite entire articles for them. Unfortunately, disinformation is sure to propagate if an article created by an AI system gets released without further verification regarding the facts. Overreliance on AI-generated material without human verification of facts will have a long-term influence on our worldviews owing to the non-fact-checked information people consume over time. In this video, we discuss some of the possible ethical difficulties that AI systems, specifically machine learning systems, may raise. We spoke about how AI systems have the potential to spread prejudices, violate intellectual property laws, and be used unethically. This is due to how the systems were designed, spread, and utilized in reality. Although we cannot completely eradicate these ethical challenges, we can surely take efforts in the correct direction to reduce the issues caused by technology overall, and in this case, AI. With new insights into AI's ethical quandaries, let us concentrate on developing ways for more responsible AI research and dissemination. If you found this video helpful and want to know more interesting things like this, stay tuned. For that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share our videos. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Bye.